Okay, in the last lesson we talked about widgets and there was one thing that I didn't really discover until after I was done uh, with that lesson and um, the thing that I discovered is that you can't for some reason with the theme that uh, they have configured here on posts, let me go here to posts, um, you can't get the uh, sidebar to display and I did a little bit of research and I found out that there was a little bug uh, and they did an update to the theme. So what we have to do is update the theme and it's actually a good lesson because I can show you how to add a, a theme um, if you download one uh, from the internet. Alright, so let's just go to themes and then let's go to install themes and I'm gonna go select one that I downloaded. Now I'll make this available for you. I'll give you a download link um, that you can use if you want to. You just go here to upload and just click browse and then you go locate it and hit open and then install now. That's it. And you want it to be in the zip format. All right. It says is currently installed. Theme is installed successfully. And this is a theme uh, requires a parent theme, which that's the one that we're going to be basically updating with. So let's go ahead and activate. And uh, it should be all set. Uh, this is the first I'm checking it as I'm talking to everybody here. And it looks like um, things are different, <laughs> all right? So no big deal. Let's go ahead and fix everything, all right? And it's not going to take that long. So I'm just going to walk through it. So let's go here to customize. And let's see if some of our settings are there. Um, let's see. This is the, uh, the layout. Obviously, we want content on left. Um, the colors, we're going to keep them the same. Um, this, we're not going to display the header, um, the background image. Let's see. Navigation. We want the main menu, the static home page is going to stay. That's where it's already it's already there. Header image. Let's go there and let's see if we can find um, if we can find our image or if we have to re-upload it. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure if I go to the you know what? Let's do this. Let's just go ahead and save all that because that pretty much saved us a lot of time right there. Anyway, it gave us our menu back and all that stuff. And let's close that. And then let's go back over here now to dashboard. Then let's go to our appearance. Let's go to header. So let's just basically go here to choose image. We're going to go into our image library. We're going to uh, select show and then set as header. Boom, there it is. Let's go uh, skip cropping, publish image as is. And then from there, we should hit save changes. And we should be back in business. Let's visit our site. And there we go. All right, so there's our home page again. We've got our about page, okay? Sidebar is still here. Now the big thing was though is the post. Let's go to the post and then there it is. That's what we were after. So I wish I would have knew that earlier, but I didn't. But anyway, it's fixed now. So all you have to do is just uh, uh, add that, uh, that new update of that theme and then just do um, a few of those customizations again, which didn't take me that long at all. The other one little quick tip I wanted to show you is how to customize the background uh, because if you, if you see here it's very very light it's a light gray and then the inside where the content goes is white now I do recommend leaving this white uh, and but I do think that you should either make this darker uh, not dark dark doesn't have to be but just a different shade so this way here it brings the attention into your content or whatever you, uh, you know you're trying to get them to read or to view alright so uh, very easy to do this just go to uh, the drop down menu here go to background and then from there you can just select the color you can upload an image too which you know I don't know if that's necessary it could be distracting um, I would probably just do a color so I'm just gonna go here to select color and in this case I'm gonna select like a blue let's so I'll just go down into here you can see this is the preview it gives you it's a little too dark I might go something like that let me bring it in a little bit save changes and then just you can visit the site and see what it looks like yeah that's not bad I mean it doesn't match this hundred percent so what I would probably do uh, I would probably go into Photoshop and then uh, you know see exactly what color this was and then just copy that uh, that code of the color swatch into here or you can just obviously make it uh, you know if you wanna again I'll just show you real quick we can make it darker uh, like a like a dark gray uh, go here hit default let's go to select color uh, let's make it darker um, let's see yeah, something like that save changes and then let's visit the site now again yeah see and that's just simpler 
but it, it, it brings the attention into here and that's really what we want to do so I just wanted to let you know that you can customize this further and you should just to make it so it's yours and obviously the header graphic is gonna make it totally unique to you so you might want to spend some time on that to make it yours and unique and show your style and stuff like that all right so if you want more information about this, if you're not on our NPB subscriber list right now and you're watching this on YouTube, you should head over to newportraitbiz.com and sign up to our email newsletter and our um, posts and updates because we have a ton of information that we give out for free on our blog and we give that to all of our NPB subscribers and we'll keep you up to date as soon as we release new videos. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this lesson. Once again, I really enjoyed making it for you. I hope you got a lot out of it and I'll talk to you soon.